Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this car dash cam. I got this from GearBest.com, and the model number is MG288. It records in 1080p as a G sensor, and it uses a supercapacitor instead of an internal battery where it might die after a year or so. So let's open this up, and I'll show you what's inside. So here is the car dash cam. Inside the box we have the suction cup mount. This is the USB cable. Here we have the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. Let's go over the spec on this camera. It records in 1080p full HD. It records in .mov file format. It uses H.264 MPEG-4 video encoding. The lens on the camera is a 140 degree wide angle lens and the DC input can be 12 volt or 24 volt. Let's have a closer look at the camera. On the bottom we have the microphone. On the side we have the audio and video output. There's the USB connector. On the back we have a 2 inch color LCD display. There's the up selection, down selection, OK button. Here's the power button menu button and the mode button. On the bottom here we have the LED display. Over here on the other side we have the micro SD card slot. Here you can install your memory card. On the top, this slot here is for installing your suction cup mounts. Here I have the mount and all you have to do is place it in the slot and then slide this over until it locks in place. With this collar, you can loosen this and adjust the angle. And to lock this onto the windshield, you flip this lever to this position. So let's go ahead and power this on for the first time. As you can see, once it's powered on, the recording will begin automatically. To stop the recording, press the OK button and then the recording will stop. Let's go into the menu and we'll go through some of the settings you can do. Here you can format the SD card, select the video resolution, default is 1080p at 30 frames per second. Here are the selections, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. Day and time, here you can set the day and time on the camera. Cyclic time, this is the loop recording time, default is 2 minutes. G sensor, you can select high sensitivity, middle sensitivity, or low sensitivity, or off. Let's set this to middle. Motion detect is off. Record audio is on. Language, English. Video out is NTSC. LCD standby, 60 seconds. Reset if you want to reset the camera settings. About this is the firmware version of this camera as 1.00.06. Now we're back to the first menu here. Press menu again. Now we're on the record display. If you press the OK button, then we'll begin recording. If you press the mode button here on the bottom left hand side, you'll go into the playback mode. Here you can scroll to different video clips and play back whichever clip you select. Press the mode button again. Now you'll go back to the record screen. If I press the OK to start recording, while it's recording, if you press this down selection button, you'll see this yellow caution icon come up. That tells you that this video clip is being locked. So it will not be overwritten. And you can use this function if you're driving and you happen to see something happen on the road and you want to immediately lock that video clip so it won't get erased. This camera also has a built-in G sensor. So if you get into an accident, it should detect the impact and automatically lock that video clip in. If your cigarette lighter plug is controlled by the ignition switch, when you turn off your ignition, it will power down this dash cam automatically. Here I'm going to remove the power and you'll see the camera will turn off automatically. 
and when I plug the power back in, it will power up on its own. Installation of the camera is very easy. Just place the suction cup on your windshield and then push this locking tab in this position. Now you can adjust the angle of the camera and then tighten this collar to lock it in place. Now plug the power cord that came with the camera into this connector on the top. And run this cable up to your headliner. Bring the cable over to the A pillar and then run the wire down onto your dash and then bring it over to your cigarette lighter plug. Make sure you don't get the wire tangled up with any of your gas pedal or brake pedal. This power cable is 13 feet long, so it has plenty of length for you to run from the windshield to your cigarette lighter plug. Here I'm going to turn on the ignition, and you'll see the camera turn on. As you can see, this car dash camera performed very well in both daytime and nighttime. Now one question I get asked a lot is, how do you get the video clips off the micro SD card onto your computer? There are two ways you can do this. You can either connect the USB cable from the camera directly to your computer and the screen will show up as a mass storage, but that will require you to remove this whole camera out of your vehicle. The other simpler way that I like is to remove the micro SD card and plug it into a card reader that you have attached to your computer. Then you can access all the video files on the micro SD card. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this video review of the MG2 A8 car dash camera. And I'll put a link for this item in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section below. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.